What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mosala Torre. Join the family. Hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as long as you promise to always keep it positive. And I am starting again something new. I feel like I've been coming up with these video series and ideas for new content here on my channel and I'm throwing another one at you guys today. So when thinking about the types of questions that I get asked often, especially in my DMs on Instagram, it's usually things like, Melissa, I'm wearing a blue dress. What makeup should I wear? I'm going to this wedding. My dress is this color. What should I do with my makeup, with my lip color? And it sparked the idea to create a series focusing on color, like outfit colors, <laughs> and how to pair your makeup to that specific color. So if you couldn't already tell, today's focus is yellow because my beautiful friend Camila Coelho, if you guys don't know her, we did do a video together a while back. I will link the video up here for you guys if you haven't seen it, but she recently came out with her own clothing line and every piece will have you feeling like a fashionista because I am definitely not a fashionista. I'm like a white t-shirt and jeans kind of person. Uh, thank you to all of you who think I dress really well. I guess I've been able to fool you guys. Um, but her collection will seriously have you feeling like a fashion blogger. Everything is amazing. Um, it's available on revolve.com. I'll link it down below. And I ordered this top from her and I immediately was like, this is the perfect color and the perfect top to kick off this series. So this look is what I came up with to go with this top. I didn't plan on it being so matchy matchy. It just kind of came out this way, but I actually really like the way it looks. And I feel confident in this makeup look in this yellow top because like I said, yellow can be a scary color, especially when it's yellow and shiny. Um, so if you guys are interested and want to see how to create a look when wearing a vibrant color like yellow, just Keep on watching. Okay, look guys, that shirt is way too pretty to film in. So I've switched over to a sports bra like the huge. And I'm going to prep my skin with Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. Moisturize and prime at the same time. And for foundation, I'm gonna be using still one of my favorite foundations at the moment, the Dior Forever in shades 3WO and 2WO. And then I apply it with my fingers and then blend it out with the Ofra sponge. And also because this is a long wearing foundation, I'm also going to apply it to my eyelids as an eyeshadow base. This to me looks the most natural on the eyelids. You can also get L'Oreal's Fresh Wear Foundation, which is long wearing, and use that as your eyeshadow base and it'll last you forever. If you only use it as an eyeshadow base, but it's a great foundation, it's long wearing, and you can use it as your main foundation and also as an eyeshadow base. Highly, highly recommend it. So I'm gonna use this NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Cafe Con Leche, which is light 2.6 to balance out this color. So I'm gonna go in, not heavy with it, but I'm gonna use a little more than normal just to make sure I balance out the color on my face. See how much better everything looks now? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set with the trusted Laura Mercier Translucent, just on the areas that I highlighted, but I find that that works great for really pressing in powder to areas that have a little more coverage, especially concealer. I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in shade 2 Medium. This powder just looks really soft on the eyes. I'm going to fill in my brows off camera with my same product that I usually use. I'm trying to switch it up, you guys, because not everybody likes your brow styler as much as I like it. So um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do what I usually do, and then we're gonna get into the eyes. All right, brows are on. Now let's talk about the plan of attack for when it comes to wearing yellow. I find that with yellow, um, it's best to keep it simple because yellow is such a vibrant color on its own already that you don't wanna have something too crazy on the face and then a really bright color on, unless that's what you're going for. Like if you have like a neon eyeliner on and like a, ye a neon yellow, that looks amazing. And um, there will be more tutorials with more pairings with yellow. This is just, one of more options to come. So for today's look, I'm gonna keep it simple and bronzy, but a little bit smoky and just overall keeping it pretty soft so that it doesn't clash with the yellow. So I'm gonna start by using this Pat McGrath um, eyeshadow single. These are so, so good. I've been dying to use them in a YouTube video. This one is called Deep Velvet and it's like a really dark shade of brown. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this is take this LH303 brush. So I'm starting off with the lash line, slowly working it into this outer V. So you want most of the color to be along the lash line. And I'm also going to apply this to the lower lash line. So once I've placed the color where I want it to go, I'm going to take a blending brush. I'm using a Smith 247 and I'm going to really soften this out and make it look really soft. And as I'm blending it out, I'm further working it into the crease and also out in this direction towards the hairline. 
All right, here is what it should look like when you're done blending it out. Really soft and subtle, most of the color being out here. Well, I don't know if this is subtle, but it looks soft. <laughs> now I'm gonna take another Pat McGrath single eyeshadow. This one is in the shade Enraptured. And this is also the look I was wearing in a video the other day. Um, either the video's already up or it's coming up soon, but you can kind of, I'll make sure to flag it for you guys, link it up here, even if it comes out later. Um, because I did pair this look with a shirt that was white with um, gold detailing. So this is a look that you can also wear if you are wearing gold. Um, but with this shadow, I'm gonna pick it up on my fingertip and I'm going to press it onto the eyelid like that. Not really going over the eyeshadow over here, but definitely blending it out in that direction. And this is definitely more of like a yellow gold that'll really blend nicely if you're wearing yellow. And with that large blending brush, the Smith 232, I'm gonna soften out the edges. Such a simple eyeshadow look, but you'll see it just, it looks so beautiful when wearing a vibrant color like yellow. I'm gonna be using this Dose of Colors eyeliner in the shade Loyal to fill in my waterline just to make it a little more dramatic because this look is so simple and I feel like it's a little extra something. So so this should do the trick. Also make sure you have a little eyeshadow brush to blend out any excess eyeliner that kind of trickles over that lash line. I might actually run this right here as well to deepen this up and then blend it out or further smoke it out with that same eyeshadow I used in the beginning. And then I can go back in and fill in the waterline up top. Now I feel complete, but I'm gonna wait to do mascara towards the end because I do want to mist myself and if I have mascara on it can get a little messy. So we're gonna zoom back out, do the face, and then uh, complete the rest of this look. Okay guys, moving on to the face. I never use a new product on camera because I never know if I'm gonna like it or not and it could ruin the look, but I'm trusting in this Tom Ford Glow Bronzer shade 02 Terra because it looks really nice and it's Tom Ford, so I feel like he can't do me dirty, but we'll see. So I'm gonna use this to bronze and I'm using my double end hourglass brush for this. I'm basically going for like a really gold goddess kind of look. Oh yes, I like it. If ever I feel like I went too bronzy on the face, I like to add a little bit of bronzer underneath the collarbone and then blend it out with the other side of this brush and it, again, balances everything out together. And I feel like this color is the right tone that I can use it on the sides of my nose and underneath the lips, so let's give it a try. This is really nice. A lot of Tom Ford products I really like. It's a problem. I'm gonna softly blend across the entire face before misting myself so that way the bronzer looks a little more blended. I'm going to mist, mist with the trusted Fix Plus. Always tuck away the hair, especially the baby hairs. Give yourself a mist. Everything always looks so much better after you use a mist. Doesn't even have to be Fix Plus. There's one that I have that's rose water and like glycerin. I'm gonna leave this headband on for just a moment longer because I am gonna highlight and my hair gets in my way. I haven't been filming with my hair down because it gets really annoying, but today I was feeling sassy, so that's why we're here. I'm gonna be using um, another new product that I'm sort of trusting right now, this Makeup Forever Ultra HD Soft Light Highlighter because I keep using uh, my current favorite, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. I just love this highlighter so much right now. It looks so natural and fresh, but this seems to have a similar finish, so I thought I would give it a try. It has a really nice undertone, like a nice champagne color, so I'm gonna use that to highlight. Um, I'm gonna use the bottom of a clean beauty blender just to make sure that I don't mix any of the product. Ooh, ooh. Just to make sure I don't mix any of the existing product on the other beauty blender onto my skin. And this is why I used the clean beauty blender because I can use the top end to blend that out so it looks not as cray cray. I did not need that much of this product, that is for sure. I feel really bright right now, but I think I just need to add blush to feel normal again. I would say that that highlighter isn't bad, but it definitely does not top Opal Shimmering Skin Perfector. For blush, I'm gonna be using this shade right here in this Jouer blush palette. It's called Marigold, the TV Amor six shade blush palette. And I'm gonna sweep that on the cheeks to add some color because I feel like I'm missing something in this region. And to soften the look of this, because I think it looks a little too peachy, I'm gonna swirl the large end of the hourglass brush. But I'm just swirling the brush into that powder to soften the look of the blush, see that? Final steps. First of all, brow gel and mascara. I'm gonna be using Anastasia brow gel. Monsieur Big by Lancome on my upper lashes and then Voluminous Brown Black Waterproof on my lower lashes. I'm gonna be using Shayla X ColourPop Lippy Pencil in shade BFF3. 
this color caught my eye. It's the Natasha Denona number two melted liquid lip. Okay, I thought that other lip color was looking a little harsh, so I changed it to this simple lip combo. I'm wearing Patrick Ta's lip gloss in She's Expensive, and the lip liner is ColourPop's Lippy Pencil in BFF, completely filled in. That is a wrap on this video. I almost forgot to add an inner corner highlight. I was like, something is missing with this look. I just grabbed whatever was nearest. I used this Dior highlighter palette, Glow Face Palette, and I used this gold color up here. Um, on the inner corner and now I feel complete so this look is complete um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this concept for a video series uh, comment down below what color you would want me to tackle next maybe some of the primary colors blue red green orange wait are, is orange primary color this isn't the end of yellow this isn't like one look for one color um, for example I love wearing a plum lip with yellow as well. Um, so this isn't the last time you're gonna be seeing the color yellow or me wearing yellow <laughs> in this series. Um, but if you guys enjoyed it, give it a like, share it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.